Talk about kicking breakfast up another notch. What about a loaded breakfast tachos all on the Blackstone? Let's go. Alrighty, my Vols cruised to a win last night. Uh, barely got over Chattanooga. Tough game, but we barely got through it. I think we have uh, North Carolina State coming up. Wish you guys a good season this year. For, for anybody that follows college football, it's one of my favorite times of the year. Big Tennessee fan. Go Big Orange. Looks like we're going to have an exciting year. Breakfast tots. My wife came up with it. All the kudos to her. We've been going over the layers, how it's going to be, and I'm super excited. We have bacon. We have some sausage. We got some vegetables to prep. But other than that, it should be a relatively easy video that packs a ton of flavor, and I'm starving. Let's go. Got my favorite Tennessee Pride sausage. We went with the hot con since it's kind of like the idea of tachos or tater tot breakfast, whatever you want to call it. So roughly about half because I'm going to make a gravy. The rest of the half we're going to crumble up on top of it. We had a viewer a very long time ago when I first started tell me I should save my bacon grease and put up my sausage gravy. My response was, why in the world would I do that when I'm making sausage gravy and I'm not making bacon gravy? His response back was, trust me, just try it once. I've tried it once and I've never, if I've had bacon, I've never done it again. So, never not done it again. what I say? Never done it again. Yeah, never not done it again. I saved some of the bacon grease to put into the sausage gravy because that little smoke flavor, mm, love it. So thank you for that part, if they, even if they still watch. And if you haven't done it, now you know. We're just looking to break up the sausage, break it up in small chunks because this is going to be crumbled over top. The bacon we're just looking to cook through, same thing. All right, just move the bacon over. Here's some of that grease I was talking about, preserving that bacon grease. Get all that bad stuff up. You should be left. With liquid gold, take that. right into your sausage gravy fat. I'm gonna hide some of this grease in this far left corner. We're going to use that as well for the hash browns or the, t the tater tots. Before we start working on our gravy, now's a good time to use that residual fat left over. And I got the golden crispy crowns, kind of like familiar with like uh, what is that like Carl's Jr. Hardee's stuff like that you could use tater tots if you wanted to but just adding a touch of oil for that shallow fry of course my griddle runs downhill so this will help it If I've mentioned it once, I've mentioned it a thousand times. Anytime you put a skill on top of a griddle, typically the heat comes outside of the griddle as well. You gotta be careful because the handle gets hot. Got some nice browning on the sausage. And now it's gonna make a simple gravy. As always, we're not gonna season this until we get the right consistency. So that way we don't have to keep adjusting. Once the milk settles in, we get it to the consistency we want, then we can season. Just thinking about nachos, quickly we're gonna do some onions and some tomatoes. Gravy's come together nicely, doesn't take long. We might add just a touch more milk because it will thicken up on us as it cools. Generous pinch of salt. I like mom black pepper heavy. And there you go. There's a quick sausage gravy with that added bacon grease. Alrighty, new landing spot for the tater tots because this is the hottest side. That shallow fry. I'm gonna work on getting these flipped. I've turned this side of the griddle off. Should be plenty of residual heat for our eggs. And we're almost done. All right, just hit it with that shake that. World's greatest potato seasoning. It 
Six eggs, just a little pepper, a little bit of salt. Beat those up and scramble them. We'll be able to put those on the griddle. Alrighty, just a touch of oil. Remember, my right side or your left side is off. Griddle runs downhill. We'll be able to use that to our advantage. Create like a dam. This is that brand new resurfaced uh, Blackstone. We got a video on that if you guys are interested, just did it the other day. And based on how easy these eggs are coming off, I would say that you probably did a pretty good job. Got some bacon, give it a quick chop. Like anything, you're trying to match the hatch. You don't want too big. I'm sure you have a lot of ingredients in one bite. You got your hash browns pulled. This is a mix of three pepper smoked Gouda or three pepper Gouda and pepper jack. The cheese is up to you. We uh, did that on pellets and pits. Uh, we did a smoked chicken broccoli and cheese casserole and had these cheeses so just a good accompaniment to go with this top that with a little bit more cheese i don't know if nachos or tachos can ever have too much cheese a little bit of gravy. Now you want this gravy pretty hot because that way it can help melt that cheese. I'm going to hit that with just a little bit of chopped bacon. Come back with some of that hot chopped sausage. This is looking good. Holy smokes. I pace myself here. Pickled jalapenos. You know the drill. Standard nacho toppings. Maybe just a little diced raw onion. I like it. You do you. And some of that tomato. I really thought about putting a salsa on here, but it's typically salsas are really wet. And I didn't want too much moisture in here. Alrighty, guys. There you go. There's the loaded breakfast tachos. I know one thing. She was in a timed hurry to get this done because I wasn't playing around. <laughs> Take your pictures and let's go. A little hot sauce. I am all about it. Oddly enough, the cheese and the spicy sausage. Good hash browns. That's comfort food 101. I get 75%. You get 25%. Just look how crunchy those hash browns came out. Give, give me a little bit, bite everything now. You gotta get the full experience. Uh, no, no, you said, you heard them. You said everything. Look at you. You said, I want a bite of everything. <laughs> okay. And I gave it to you. Is there a bacon? Yeah, there's a bacon. Here. Make sure you got a little piece of bacon. Mm. Mm. I'm telling you, that's mm. the way to do it. That's breakfast. That's a perfect breakfast. Balanced, mm. light, healthy. <laughs> If you guys are interested, hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook, The Girl Group. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share it with your friends. Peace. You can tell you want to get to that. That's a one and done. Uh-huh. Golly, that, that is good. <laughs> Spicy sausage. Yep. The cheese. Yep. And the hash brown are really good. Yeah. That's, that's a winner. Plus you get your vegetables. <laughs>